You ready? You ready? You ready? We're in class right now. Oh God! So what are we doing? We're working on the ambiguous case. Ooh, I hope that those Zoom videos come out. What are we looking for? We're looking at the angle side side case for the law of sines. Ambiguous. What do we need? We need the side opposite the angle. Sure. So we have the side opposite the angle. Now we're like, what if this was a right triangle? Yeah. What if this was a right triangle? If this was a right triangle, what should that side be? So, 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 so. It's the opposite over the hypotenuse. So it's the opposite over the hypotenuse. If I do the opposite over the hypotenuse and I'm trying to find out what that should be. Oh wait, blue face baby. I don't know why it has to do that every time. Um, on, hey. So that's 42 times the sine of 43. <laughs> so that should be 28. That should be 28.643933, whatever. What are we looking at? If it was, this B sine A, whatever. Um, if it was a right triangle, this needs to be 28. But look, 42 is long enough. 42 could be here or 42 could be there. So now we're going to use the law of... I'm talking about two triangles. What it should be is smaller than the opposite side and it's smaller than the hypotenuse. It's the two triangle case. And it's all off of what it should be. I know over there it's A's and B's and you're like, ah. And here it's B's and C's, but we C's. We can label this arbitrarily. So let's go and let's find those two triangles using the law of sines. So we're gonna have the sine of 43 is to the one opposite, 30. And then what are we doing? We're trying to find C. Okay, no, we have C, it's 42. Oh, I wish I had blue, 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 42. So we're looking for the sine of gamma. That, that they use gamma for C, all right, so here let's see what that's going to be. So that's the that's 42 sine 43 divided by 30. That's going to be the sine of All right. So here we go. That's um 42 times the sine of 43 and then we're going to divide it by 30. All right. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, we're not done. That's close to one though. Heavens to Mercatron. So that's nine, five, five ish. I rounded it right there. Um, that's the sine of gamma. So here are gamma. That's not gamma. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Fine. It's fine. 0 0.955. We inverse sine that. <laughs> Boom! So it looks like that's seventy two point oh seventy two seven. And what's that? Which one is that? That one? No, it's this one. That's that seventy two point seven. How do we get the other one? Well, this is um, yeah. So the inverse sine, sine is y, so it gets you that. So we just found this one here, that's 72.7. We want to find this one here. So how do we get that? Well, we take the 180 and we subtract off the 72.7 and then that's going to get us our remainder. So we'll do that. 180 minus 72.7, so 180 minus... 72.7, Ooh, it's gonna be, wow, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, 107.29, so this is, boom, 107.29, and now we need to find the other two, now you said it, now it's two different problems, one for the big triangle, one for the little triangle, and you need to go and you need to find the other side in each of those cases. Fine, I'll do it. 
right here. You finish. I got you the hard part. What do you want? 